What's up folks the info zone is back with another video today's topic is classification of joints A joint is a connection made between two bones in the body which link the entire skeletal system A joint can be classified based on its structure and function structure in the sense the type of tissue articulation between two bones and the range of motion which is exhibited in a specific joint now based on the tissue articulation there are three joints the fibrous joint the cartilaginous joint and the synovial joint the fibrous joint is highly immobile subdivided into three the synovial process the best example is the cranial sutures the sutures are immobile connected with connected by fibro cartilages to be and the fibula connected by the intraosseous membrane and the tibia fibular joint for the example of syndesmosis Dental alveolar joint, the tooth, is an example for gomphosis. Cartilaginous joint, subdivided into two. The costochondral junction, which forms an example for synchondrosis, and two pubic bones, which articulate to form the pubic symphysis. Pubic symphysis is an example of symphysis joint. The synovial joint is highly mobile, has six varieties, has a bit greater range of motion. The shoulder joint is an example for the ball and socket variety. The elbow joint is an example for hinge variety. Synovial joint. superior and inferior radio ulnar joints are the examples for pivot variety the first carpometacarpal joint or thumb is an example for sidle variety radio couple on the wrist joint is an example for ellipsoid variety the plane joint or the planar joint exhibits only transverse or translation movements this example is the intercarpal or intercarpal joints this was just an outline of the classification of joints just before we conclude the video but for today the one unchangeable certain is that nothing is unchangeable also if you like my video do smash the like button if you have any suggestions Please do let me know in the comment section. And then thank you very much and goodbye.